Tell you about them sobbing women who lived in the Roman days. It seems that they all went swimming while their men was off to graze. Well, a Roman troop was riding by and saw them in their me oh my. So they took them all back home to dry. At least that's what Plutarch says. Oh, yes, them women was sobbing, 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 fit to be tied. Every muscle was throbbing, throbbing from that riotous ride. Seems they cried and kissed and kissed and cried all over that Roman countryside. So don't forget that when you're taking a bride, sobbing fit to be tied from that riotous ride. They never did return their plunder, the victor gets all the loot. They carried them home by thunder, to rotunda small but cute. And you never seen, so they tell me, such downright domesticity. With a Roman baby on each knee named Claudius and Brute. Oh yes, them women was sobbing, 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 passing them nights. While the Romans was going out, hopnobbing, starting up fights. Kept occupied by sowing lots of little old togas for them tots and saying, Someday women folks will have rights. Passing over their nights, just sowing while the Romans had fights. Now, when the men folk went to fetch them, the women would not be fetched. It seems when the Romans catch them, their lady friends they catch. Right. Now let this be, because it's true, a lesson to the likes of you. Wrap them up like them their Romans do, or else they'll think you're tetched. Oh, yes, and the women were sobbing, 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 sobbing pockets of tears. Mighty sad. On account of old Dobbin, Dobbin, really rattled their ears. And that ain't all. Oh, they acted angry and annoyed. But secretly they was overjoyed. You might recall that when corralling your steers. Oh, oh, oh. Wow.